Hi, in this quick tutorial, we're going to do an automation where we take our Instagram photo and we're going to make sure that that photo shows up on our Twitter feed. Yes, the Instagram app does have an option to toggle on posting to Twitter. However, it will just post a link, not the actual photo from Instagram. My name is Tracy and I love to do anything that automates or systematizes my work day and my work week because I want more time in my day and I rather not have to work on all my small tasks so I automate them all and this is one of them. Let me show you how you can post to Twitter using Instagram and I'll quickly show you if you just want to use the app how to do it that way. To do it in the app, we're just going to go to the top menu and we'll click on settings. We'll scroll down to account and then we'll scroll down again to sharing other apps. We just click on Twitter and then authorize Instagram to have access to your Twitter account. Just enter your username and password and clicking on authorize app and you're done. And now Instagram will post to Twitter every time you post any of your content. In order to have the photo from Instagram show up on our Twitter feed, we're going to use this process. Now what we need for this is a Zapier account. So you need to sign up for that. You need your Instagram account and you need your Twitter account. So make sure you have all that information already so that you're either logged in. Now when I went to do this I wound up getting an error and so I just want to show you the error because what's supposed to happen now is I'm supposed to connect my apps through Zapier. So I've, lo I've logged in my Zapier account and now I'm going to connect my Instagram to my Twitter. But when I try to uh, connect my Instagram to Twitter I got this message. And if you can see, it says that my account is connected to Facebook, but there is this future off Facebook activity issue. And so I had to go in and manage my off Facebook activity and make sure that I authorized for it to be turned on. So anyways, I've turned it back on. And so if you do get this error, you should go to your future off Facebook activity and turn it on which would mean going to Facebook, off Facebook activity, which I've already turned on, but at least you can see it is off Facebook activity and, and then you have to click on manager Facebook activity. You're gonna to have to put in your password and then you're gonna actually have to toggle it on and it will look like this. And once I did that, I was able to link up my Instagram to Zapier. So let's continue on. So we're gonna find that zap first. We're just gonna explore. We're just gonna scroll down and Instagram. That's what we're gonna do. So what do we wanna do? We would like a new media posted to my Instagram account is gonna create a tweet with an image. If you need help setting up your Twitter account, make sure you check out my setting up Twitter account video. So let's connect these two. I'm now going to have to log in and let me just do that and I'll get right back to you. Now you could have logged in with your Google account but um, I do it this way and we're going to now connect our apps. So we're going to connect our Instagram. I'm going to click on the connect blue button. I'm going to allow it to connect. Now um, I'm going to go next and I'm going to connect my Twitter account, which I'm not sure if I'm in there or not. Let's connect. Uh, yes. Um, no, actually, I'm not going to follow, follow Zapier's Twitter account. Oh, maybe I will. Sure, why not? Okay, I'm going to authorize this app to do the following and you should read this to make sure you're comfortable with this which I am, so I'm gonna authorize the app. Now we've done the two connections. We have our apps connecting with each other. Now we're just gonna customize the zap that will make sure that everything talks to each other properly and we'll test it and then we'll turn it on. Now I'm gonna decide what my message will say. It could be my caption, maybe it's my username, maybe it's um, my URL, whatever you'd like. And then this is what we're gonna send, and it is gonna be the media URL. 
we can um, should we shorten our URLs and I'm gonna say yes so we're good with that I'm gonna go next and now we're gonna test it it's going to my last Instagram post which is way too long for a tweet and so it will not work I'm going to change it up and just use my username to show that this test works that the zap works so it would look like this let's see what that looks like so it says it was sent and we should be able to go to Twitter and then refresh our feed to see if it showed up. And there it is, it's there, but it only has my username and doesn't look that great with just a username. So I'm gonna fix that again by adding another step to the Zap. So if you're fine with this, you can use the free Zapier account and you would have your photo posted to Twitter. If you want to use the caption, you would just have to make sure that you always had your captions quite short, which you can do, or you could upgrade to the paid account and then add this extra step. Zapier free account does not allow multi steps. This absolutely needs a second step where we shorten the caption using a app within Zapier called the formatter. And this is how we're going to do that. We're going to go back to our setup and we're going to add a step in between our Instagram post and our Twitter by clicking on the plus and we're going to search for the formatter in the little field. So there it is. We're going to add that and now we're going to set this up. We're going to choose the type of action event, which is text, and then we're going to find a option and if you scroll down until you find truncate and we're going to select that so we're going to make it smaller and then we're going to say what the input value is and the value is your instagram caption that's what you're bringing in then you put how many characters you want to output it whatever you want based on in uh, twitter so then we're going to test it to make sure it works and it does so we're happy with that and now we go down to Twitter and we say we want to change what we're bringing in from Instagram. We're not bringing the caption in, we're actually bringing in the text from the step previously. So we wanna click output from the, the uh, formatter text. And now when we test that, what should happen is we should be able to see our Instagram post with, there you see it says that it's fine. We'll see our Instagram post with a photo with whatever we put in there. So now the caption is there and it is 160 characters just like I put it. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that up because I don't like the way that goes and so that's what I would do. And then what I also am going to do is just add a link in there too so that when you click on the photo, it actually takes you to the Instagram post, which we easily can do by adding that into what we're bringing over. So if you see that we're bringing the, in the Instagram account, we are bringing um, the action from Instagram, we want the output and we also want the permalink or the URL. And I'm also going to add the shortener so that my any of my URLs are shortened by Zapier. So then less characters in my tweet. Okay, a uh, tweet was sent to Twitter just now. Uh, let's see what it looks like. And oh my gosh, it's there. And then there's my uh, shortened URL. And what it should do is take me to my Instagram post. Yay, love it. And now I can um, just have this set up. So all I would do is go back here, turn on my zap, and then it would be automatically posting my Instagram to Twitter. The thing is, make sure you write down your automation. You should have a document with all your automation because what happens is we layer automation upon automation. And um, so you want to make sure that when you do any change on any of your social platforms, on any of your automation, you have it documented. So you know exactly if you make a change on any one of these things, how it's going to affect all the other things you set up a month ago, three months ago, six months ago, and for me, years ago. Make sure you document your automation and hey, come follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. I'm putting myself out there all with automation.
Thanks for watching and really hope you enjoy your day. If you have any questions about digital marketing, about automation, about making your work a lot lighter and not having so much on your plate, feel free to comment below or reach out to me. Otherwise, I hope you're having an amazing day.